Welcome back. So, you guys want my opinion on the whole iFit debacle in last night's episode of Roa, honey. And honestly, I didn't want to talk about it. I did not want to talk about this because you guys aren't going to like nor appreciate my opinion. And I'm really trying to have a positive week. You know, I don't want to be dragged by Team Twirl. I love you, Team Twirl, even though y'all hate me. But, you know, I don't want to be dragged for my opinion because... Everything I say about this woman or these women or these girls, honey, y'all be so uptight and upset. And I'm like, damn, like you would think that I'm really online, like dragging these folks, like down to the ground on this little TV show, like exposing their biggest, darkest secrets, even though we kind of do that. (laughs) No, but y'all be acting like I be dragging Kenya, calling her the scum of the earth as if I'm calling her out her name bullying this girl when I just be giving my simple opinions on the TV show and when I slightly disagree with sis y'all be like oh my god you're so biased you hate this woman let it go and I'm like oh my goodness y'all really y'all really have to calm down I'm gonna need y'all to stop being so emotionally invested why are you so bothered by my little uh, opinion Anyways, child. So yeah, this I fit debacle. We're gonna talk about it. Um, who do I think is wrong? Well, Sonia told these girls, meet at 9 30, okay, to get your ass to the damn commercial. Because I kind of figured that this was like a day where, you know, you could do whatever you wanted to do. Candy was getting ready for an acting role or an audition. Drew Sedora said, I'm gonna hang out in the hotel room because she broke her Achilles, ruptured it. Um, you know, Kenya and Sheree ended up going on the boat and then Marlo and Sonia was at the commercial shoot. So it was kind of like a free for all. And Sonia made it clear, listen, you don't have to. It's optional, not a mandate. It's optional if you want to come tag along while me and my husband do our work. Okay, this commercial shoot. And um, I guess Kenya and Sheree wanted to join Sonia, but somehow, some way, there was some sort of lapse in communication and they could not figure out a way to uh, get to the photo shoot. Like, I don't know. I guess they couldn't find a cab or they didn't have the address or they missed the bus or there was never any bus. Like, I don't really know. Like, it was all very, very confusing. And the way they edited the episode, um, it's really hard to judge who's in the wrong and who's right because I honestly don't feel like we have the full story. We don't have the full conversations. We know production likes to edit and splice. So it looks like Sheree's on the beach at 930 instead of the lobby. The previous episode, or I think in that very same episode, they made it seem like, oh, Kenya is parlaying in her room, taking pictures of the view, when really that was not the case. So just based off of the fact that we aren't really receiving the full story, I can't really give a who's wrong and who's right. Now, what I will say is that number one, and I'm going to come to this, you know, determination based off of two things. Number one, Marlo made it onto somebody's bus and she got to the photo shoot, okay? Kenya and Sheree could not figure it out. And listen, I'm not mad at them. You know, if they couldn't figure it out, if they didn't know what to do, if Sonya didn't give them instructions, then fine, okay? Not their fault. But Marlo figured it out. On top of that, when Sheree met back up with Sonia later on in that night, she made a statement saying, I felt disinvited or uninvited. Really, Sheree? Really? A lapse in communication at best. But to say you feel uninvited or you felt uninvited, I think that's just plain dumb. I just think that's stupid. How Nini say that's just stupid. That's stupid. First off, you can't feel uninvited. Being invited to something or a disinvite is something that's explicit. You don't have to guess about it, right? So if I invite you somewhere, I explicitly, you know, welcome you to an event. If you get uninvited, then I explicitly tell you, hey, sis, you're no longer welcomed, right? So you got invited, but there was no uninvitation. There was no disinvite. You cannot feel that, sis, unless Sonia says, you are not welcomed, you cannot feel uninvited. That doesn't make sense. Okay, that does not make sense. So I just kind of feel like, Sheree, you're reaching. I feel like, you know, Kenya 
the biggest reach of all time. Um, y'all really just want to be mad at this girl for whatever reason. And it's just so petty. Like the fact that Sheree and Kenya are really making this into an issue is weird to me. Like, why are y'all so upset that y'all missed her commercial? Like, I don't really understand that. I really don't. Like, Sonia did not have an issue with it. She wasn't tripping. She seemed really happy at the photo shoot. She uh, did not express her, uh, you know, discontent with the ladies not showing up, with the exception of Marlo. So if she didn't have an issue, why do y'all, right? And I guess they feel like, okay, well, we got ready and we were punctual. Okay, well, there was a lapse in communication, you know, things happen. It is what it is. There's no such thing as a trip that goes off without a hitch, right? Since moment one, y'all said that Sonia was way too controlling. She was, you know, on the trip acting like a damn drill sergeant where she had everything planned out and she was, you know, basically suffocating you guys. You didn't like the fact that she had rules and you didn't like the fact that she told you what hairstyles to wear and you didn't like the fact that the itinerary was too full. So now she gives y'all a little bit of a relaxed day and all of a sudden, oh, Sonia's still wrong. Like, I just kind of feel like, okay, at this point, it just seems like a hate train. You didn't like the fact that Sonia chastised Marlo in the same way she chastised Drew. You didn't like the fact that, um, you know, Sonia invited you to Jamaica and she let it be known that this was a couple's trip. You don't like the fact that, you know, I guess I'm assuming there was a lapse in communication with the whole bus and the whole iFit commercial. Like, and now you want to come for her at dinner and you expect her husband not to say anything when you so rudely said, I can talk whenever I want to talk. Now, if you guys are going to call Ross aggressive, Aaron aggressive, you need to call Kenya aggressive too. Saying, well, I can talk when I want to talk. Mm, that's not really polite or nice. It's kind of aggressive. So let's get on her too. Now, I know you guys are going to be upset, but guess what? Mm, it is what it is. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.